We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight and hold support. And in today's volatility, our SPY buy at 1.45 p.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows cross the midpoint to the upside, full strength on 42 vision, and call options went up. 150 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index fighting to hold support here within these charts and in today's video we're going to break down the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow but before we do i want to share with you guys the home opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the homer today was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the homer today was from our tesla bot our tesla bot at 10 5 a.m sent out a bull indicator and from that moment forward inflows cross the midpoint to the upside full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 70 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump to these charts here we are at the spy the s p 500 index doing a full transition from the rip area to the dip area yesterday and back up to bright green bars here on 42 vision if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index into the second half of the day and closing. A bull indicator has popped up here on the SPY at the 544.20 level, canceling out that bear indicator from 545.20. And you could see the rejection there, right, as it tested it. And it's going to be crucial to justify any further move to the upside for inflows to follow and also break through that resistance and turn it into support that is something to not ignore here in these charts and it isn't the only stock back under a bull indicator you have the qqq here under a bull indicator since 475 you also have tesla here at 183 and you have apple here under a bear indicator but fighting in a tight consolidation between 208 and 210 so it needs a bull indicator to justify any further move to the upside, but it's fighting there in a tight range. So multiple stocks are back under bull indicators, and it's going to be crucial here for this bull indicator to have inflows to follow. On the SPY, we're going to pull up the inflow versus outflow in just a moment. Now, when we go ahead and zoom out and look at this from the one hour, it's trying to push back up, but a bear indicator is still dominating at the 549 level. And it needs a bull indicator to justify any move to the upside. So I will be watching that as it's trying to transition back up. And it's trying to head towards dark green and bright green bars. Moving away from the dip area of why we're Fred Borders. And double bottoming here really strong above the 542 level. 
something to not ignore in the bigger picture of the one hour chart. Now, in the volatility of the 15 minute, we could see here how the chop has happened throughout the day, fighting to stay above 542.50, rejecting off that 544 area, 545, but it's back under a bull indicator here at 543.90, and it's going to be crucial for this to hold and continue the staircase effect going into tomorrow. Now, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflows, and we're going to break it all down and the key levels I would watch going into tomorrow. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index with inflows pushing upwards. We were looking for that and broke that down in yesterday's video and it needed to cross to justify any move to the upside. And here we have it with inflows positive at 1.74, pushing away from the midpoint. And you can see that sharp push up after the volatility. The reason why the stock didn't completely collapse is because those inflows were above. It found support and has bounced up from 542 all the way up to 545. To continue this, these inflows need to continue higher. Now, when we go ahead and zoom out and look at this from the one hour, we could see inflows crossing over for the first time. And this is gonna be crucial here, just like it was back on Friday of last week, going into Monday, and it did push up from 544 up to 546. These inflows need to stay above, right? The reason why things sharply dropped is because those inflows lost traction. These inflows need to pick up and continue to justify any further move to the upside and retest of key resistance levels. So definitely something I will not ignore here on the one hour chart. Now, when we zoom in and look at this within the volatility of the 15 minute, these inflows are fighting to stay above after this push and slowing down here as these outflows are starting to begin. If this crosses the midpoint sharply, it could start to reflect that weakness into these charts and possibly even roll it over into the 30 minute. And the first support level I'll be watching is 543. If that gets broken through in that tight range, 543 to 542, it's been a crucial support here between yesterday after hours and today in the middle of the volatility. And then below 542, if these outflows sharply start to drop on the 30 minute and one hour, I'll be watching 540. Now, to the upside, it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to start picking back up, switch from red to green on the 15 minute, continue that staircase effect and push away sharply on the one hour, right? It's right there near the midpoint and needs to continue pushing upwards. Same thing on the 30 minute and the first resistance is 545 and then above that I'll be watching 547 and then comes the 550 level. So. These are the key levels I'll be watching to the upside and to the downside. The born bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows. I would not ignore them as on the one hour, it's really close to the midpoint and on the 15 minute in the volatility, it is fighting to stay above because even if the 15 minute was to cross to the downside, like we saw earlier in the day, but it starts to push back up the one that's going to be crucial. And I will be watching the rest of these after hours and going into tomorrow's pre-market is going to be the one hour guys it just crossed over and the reason why things collapsed yesterday is because those outflows began again right after reaching 1.32 sharply dropped and that's something that's going on here again right just like it did from friday to monday but this time it needs to push away and stay above and retest those key resistance levels to go ahead and turn them into supports so i will be watching the one hour as well as the 30 minute because in the volatility of the 15 minute, if it crosses downwards, it just needs to level off and try to bring itself back up as long as these do not cross the midpoint to the downside. That's what I'm going to be watching very closely going into tomorrow. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.